Hey, what's up everybody? It is your girl Jojo and I'm here with another Zodiac Chad. Today is going to be the Gemini edition. We are doing Gemini reality stars and we do reality stars because I do reality shows. Now, Geminis, you have quite the crew of people <laughs> on reality TV, but what I did notice is that a cast without a Gemini is a cast that really has to work hard to have fun. I did notice that. So you have that under your belt, but you got quite the crew of people. So so just get ready okay y'all gonna be mad at some of these but it is what it is y'all know <laughs> I love y'all Gemini's all right so the first Gemini we're gonna get started with is the beautiful Tommy Lee I really think that Tommy has a lot of great potential but I decided to start with her because she's the perfect example of what I mean when I say that we can evolve into our signs or we can be unevolved I think that Tommy is definitely fun she's versatile all of those good Gemini traits but she is unevolved in so many ways which makes the negative parts of the Gemini tend to come out of her at times um, so so she is super impulsive. Gemini is a very impulsive sign. She doesn't always make the best decisions. Um, she has talked a lot about how she does have some problems with anxiety um, and Geminis can be extremely anxious. Um, she has a sarcastic sense of humor that can rub a lot of people the wrong way. I don't know if she's meaning to do it necessarily, but it definitely can happen. But the, the thing I see the most in Tommy is her impulsiveness. She thinks after the fact um, and she just kind of goes and she just does. And that's not always the best way to be, especially as an adult. So she has a lot of evolving to do. Um, but I have hope that she definitely has that star quality because if nothing else, this is extremely entertaining and a lot of Geminis are great at that. So I just hope that Tommy's able to pull it together so we can see her as the star I really do believe she is. All right, the next person on our list is Remy Ma, and I did this on purpose so we could do a compare and contrast. So just like I said that Tommy has a lot of evolving to do, Remy is a perfect example of a Gemini who has done the work and who has evolved. Now, she still has that dry, sarcastic sense of humor, and she definitely is still petty. All Geminis are petty, but not all petty people are Geminis. Keep that in mind, but all of them are petty. She still has that. However, she uses it at the right time. Um, she has learned how to make better decisions for herself. She's not as impulsive as she used to be because the impulsiveness cost her. She had to do some time for that. That. And I think she's evolved a lot in that time versus Tommy, who has been arrested several times, but she's never had to do a sentence as far as I know. And so I think that's the difference between the two. Remy has really had time to sit and think and evolve into a much better woman and a much better and well-rounded Gemini person. So I think that when we look at an evolved Gemini, uh, Remy Ma is a great example. All right, next up we have Scott Disick and this picture is so funny to me because it's like three of him and you guys have two personalities but Scott Disick might have three so if you want a little bit of a challenge ladies when you're dating somebody if you like to feel like that that cat and mouse type feel a Gemini is perfect for you a Gemini is the type of guy where he's fun he's charming he is witty he will make you laugh but there'll also be moments where you're not ever really sure if you have them and Gemini women are like that too you're never really sure if they're yours or if they might be leaving you any minute now <laughs> they can be quite infuriating because they don't always know how to make a decision and Scott is definitely like this you guys remember Scott really just wanted to relax and have a good time he didn't even want to have all those children <laughs> he just he just wanted to have a good time and Courtney was the more serious one um they're just more spontaneous people more you know right at the moment so it's no surprise that Scott chose to date a younger woman after him and Courtney were done because I think it's just all a part of that fun that appeal that doing things right on a dime that doing things right at the moment the spontaneity of it all so yeah Scott Disick definitely has a lot of those Gemini traits wrapped in himself all right looks like we got another Zodiac couple on board uh Kirk and Rashida Frost 
So with Rashida, I definitely see the Gemini qualities coming out of her. Gemini women um, are very passionate and enthusiastic about life. Um, they are concerned about everybody around them, making sure everybody around them is comfortable. If you ever go into Rashida's store, there's nobody but family there. Like the whole family works <laughs> inside of the store. Um, and that's common for a Gemini. That's something a Gemini would do. Um, Rashida's also outgoing and sociable. She definitely hangs with the same Atlanta circle. And I've always seen Rashida doing that. Like even before the Love and Hip Hop days, she always seemed to be around friends and just people in that circle and seemed to get along with everybody. Uh, Kirk Frost, you see a little of his Gemini ways. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> in his wandering eye, uh, Gemini men, because they are so social and then people like them and they enjoy people and talking to people and having fun and they don't really take life that seriously all the time. Um, they can sometimes find themselves in a wandering eye situation as Kirk did find himself in. Uh, Kirk also is able to talk himself out of things very well. Um, that is something that those who are ruled by Mercury can do and he is ruled by Mercury as all Gemini's are and uh, we can talk we can talk our way out of some things we're good at it um, and as a couple I just see the Gemini and both of them being adaptable Gemini is a mutable sign so these two are gonna always work it out always be together and always adapt to the situation we not we might not approve but that's how they roll and that's what they do so we're gonna wish them the best of luck Kirk and Rashida Frost you guys all right, y'all, we got us another fun loving Gemini guy on board. This is Caesar from Black Ink Crew. I think his real name is David, but Caesar is definitely your typical Gemini guy, outgoing, sociable, loves to talk to people, loves to interact with people. I think the biggest thing we see with Caesar is his decision making skills are not always up to par, but they've gotten a little better as he's gotten older and the show's gone on, but there's still those moments where I'm just like, Caesar, what are you doing? Are you a businessman or not? But we learn not to take Caesar too seriously, just like a lot of Geminis don't take themselves seriously. And we just kind of go with it. Even looking at this picture, I'm about to laugh because he's just, <laughs> you just can't take him that seriously. But he's just your typical fun loving Gemini dude. You got to love him, right? All right, another Gemini here is Miss Ashley Darby from Real Housewives of Potomac. Um, Ashley may not be everybody's favorite person, but she definitely knows how to have a good time and have fun and be adventurous, which is the traits that I love in a Gemini. So she definitely brings like a sense of adventure and just like light moments to the cast of Real Housewives of Potomac. She's not always my favorite person, but I love her when she is that Ashley. Just fun. Let's have a good time, Ashley. Um, also with Gemini's, family is very important to them, especially Gemini women. So it was no surprise to me that Ashley struggled with <clears throat> the decision to take care of her mother or not take care of her mother and helping her mother out. That really came as no surprise to me because Gemini women are very passionate about their families and now she has her own little family that I'm sure she is going to be fiercely protective of. So yes, Miss Ashley Darby, in case you all did not know, is a Gemini. Ooh, I thank God for making this fine specimen of man right here. I thank him often. Ryan from Black Ink Crew. Um, Ryan is a Gemini that I feel has evolved pretty well. He's versatile. He knows how to adapt. He handles his business well. Um, doesn't always make the best decisions when it comes to hiring and HR relations, but he does try to make the best business moves that he can. Um, and I say he started out well um, on Black Ink, which is something that we were not expecting. When the Chicago crew came around, we thought we were gonna get some other shenanigans and it actually turned out to not be that bad. It was a pretty well ran business despite the, um, the drama that may have gone on inside of it. Um, another place I see it with Ryan is the family oriented. Like I said, they're very big on family. I think it's the reason that him and Rachel find themselves back together again often because he really wants to be there for his son and have that uh, family dynamic. So that's two big Gemini traits that I see in Ryan. 
All right, another Gemini, we have Miss Eileen Davison, formerly of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Now, I know Eileen Davison as Kristen from Days of Our Lives, who did not realize that John Black was not her man. That was Marlena's man, but I digress. Um, Eileen Davison is a interesting character, to say the least. One thing that I saw in her on Real Housewives in her Gemini ways was that she would call out the BS, um, specifically with her Virgo castmates, which is also interesting because we communicate the same, except for Virgo is more introverted, Gemini is more extroverted, so... If they see something, they going to call it and they're not going to call it passive aggressively. And that's exactly what she did. So, yeah, Aline Davidson definitely has some Gemini traits, but not so much like, you know, the twin energy, but definitely has a lot of Gemini outspokenness. All right. Next on our list, we have walk a flock of flame. Chow, 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 chow. Listen. One of the Gemini traits that you're going to see in Waka is, of course, the wandering eye that I talked about earlier with Kirk. But Waka, although it seems like he doesn't have a lot of words, he actually does. Remember, we are ruled by Mercury, Gemini and Virgo. We can talk our way out of a situation. And Waka will sit down and talk to Tammy about his cheating or whatever he's been doing. And he will have you so turned around that you start thinking it's your fault that he went out and did whatever it is he did. So that walker has a way with words. Don't let him confuse you. Don't let him get you in that bag. And if you're dating a Gemini, don't get thin licked and tricked. <laughs> don't let them talk you under a table. All right. And I saved the best for last, uh, depending on who you're asking. And that's Mr. Andy Cohen. Andy has given us show after show after show after show of Real Housewives Entertainment. So he is innovative, he is witty, and Andy is a whole lot of fun. However, that dog on Andy know he exhibits the twin energy because he can be quite two-faced. Andy will smile in your face on Watch What Happens Live and fire you the next week. He will fire you the next week and tell you to come on to Watch What Happens Live like it never happened. <laughs> He will he will get onto the reunion show with you one minute and then talk about you and laugh at you the next minute. So that's just how he rolls. And I guess you got to when you're a Gemini working in this type of business. So that was all I had for the Geminis, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will be back for another one, all right? Bye.